I'd just like to show you two additional things inside of PCDMIS before we look at the data page report types. If we go back under insert statistics command, statistics, we have an option here called offline that we've not talked about. I'm going to turn this option on. We'll still need to choose a data source, but the data is not going to be written to that data source until we choose to write it there. In addition to that, we have offline options that allows us to limit the amount of data that is saved. In this case, I'm only going to save the trace fields and the dimensions. So I'll select OK here. Now we've not talked about trace fields, so let's insert a trace field next. If we go under Insert, Statistics Command, there's an entry labeled Trace Field. And a trace field is simply a way to keep track of non-measured data. And non-measured data may be something like the mold or cavity number that the part was made in. Perhaps I have a four cavity mold that the part is made in. And I can keep track of which cavity each of the parts came out of. And this allows me later in data page to sort by the cavity number. So we'll execute this. We'll say yes to OK to save stats. We'll enter our cavity number in our trace field, or we can change it to another number, say number 2. When your program is finished executing, you'll be presented with this prompt, Update the Data Page Plus database now. If you say no to this, then you will find inside of the user's public, public documents, WAI PCDMIS folder, an XML file that represents the execution of your part program and con containing the data. And the idea behind this is to be able to take these XML files onto a station that is offline then read that information into Data Page Plus. So this gives you a way of executing a part program, saving statistical data on a machine that's not currently running Data Page Plus. If I wanted to import now those XML files, all I need to do is log into the database that I wish to use. In this case, I'm using Grant DB1, and I'm going to select Tools import data. The data importer wizard appears. We'll select next and I'm going to select the XML file type and I'll browse over to that folder that contains my XML files. And at this point I can grab one or all of the XML files. I'll select next and hit finish. And if I double click on my part name we can see the new transactions have been added at the bottom here. And you can see that we've got a cavity number that has been tagged on to these last two transactions as well.